I think a new Doom game is coming, and by the end of this video, you might be convinced too. Let's check it out. So this is a combat designer position posted by Zenimax, who owns Bethesda and thereby id. And we take a look at the overview. It says, are you passionate about designing fun and compelling games? And basically like, hey, are you a game designer? Well, it says combat is at the core of every id software game, thankfully. And we're looking for imaginative and knowledgeable combat designers to help us make the future AAA first person action games talks about combat designers working closely with the game directors leads designers and this is this is pretty cool hang in for that here and there are lots of things going now this could be doom is what i'm thinking it could also be quake also likely i'm not going to clickbait you and tell you this is doom this is quake but it, just hang out with me here just for a second responsibilities of this role you work with the directors and leads and level designers you're basically going to be a core aspect designing the combat of the game cool you want to have high gameplay, high quality gameplay, intended vision of each level. All this is good. This is what we'd expect. I would hope to see things like this and what they're hiring for. Collab with the designers, polished tools, proprietary scripting, the whole nine yards. All of these are things that you would expect in Doom Eternal because the combat, the push forward combat is a whole system in itself. I mean, if you think about it, you have your glory kills for health, your chainsaw for ammo, your flame belch and meat hook for armor. All of that is a gameplay loop, and they want people that are thinking forward about what these games will have in their combat loop. So let's continue on here. Integrate gameplay systems to assist player navigation, such as objectives, points of interest, and checkpoints. This is good because that green that we see in the Argent Tower in 2016, or anything to help navigate the player where to go, they're looking for someone that is smart about that, who can figure out how to help the player along and make a good game. Own the quality of player and AI navigation through the environment and collaborate with environment artists to maintain the integrity of the gameplay experience. Cool. All this is standard. We know, hey, we're thinking about future looking into games. Here's the responsibilities. Here's what you can do. Qualifications. In-depth knowledge of recent id games, including Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. Now, you might say, well, the last two games that id Software's put out have been big. Okay, well, Doom Eternal, obviously, huge, huge hit for it. I mean, you're looking at almost half of a billion dollars in 2020 sales alone in that year, which is very nice. So you know they're going to include Doom Eternal here. It's their huge hit. You gotta have it. Doom 2016 is also mentioned, which is, of course, before Eternal, and is pretty popular. It sold 500,000 copies in its first month. Both, all, both of these facts are from my History of Doom retrospective video. You gotta check it out if you haven't already. And, and it's there. they should mention Doom. I mean, look how much that the game has done for its software over these past near 30 years. You have to mention it. It has to play a part. But my question... What about Rage 2? That was also pretty recent, uh, just a little bit before Eternal. It was an open world game, it had Doom reference, it had its combat design. I haven't played it myself, but if you look at it, it's like open world and it's got a ton of different things in it. It's, that's a whole, it's software game. What about the other game? What about Quake Champions? Even though that's sort of Saber. It's a, it's a little different, a little not, maybe that's not the best example. You take a look at all these other things it has. They focused on Doom a lot in the past. I mean, think about it. Look at all the money it's made for them. It's their prime game here. But why did they not mention Rage? What about the other things? So experience with any established level editing or engine tool sets, all that technical stuff, relevant mod or indie development. Now, this is they've got some cool things here that they're looking for in their preferred qualifications. We'll get to here in a second. So relevant mod or indie development. Stick with me on that one, okay? Extensive knowledge and understanding of first-person and third-person shooters and action games. So this is a this is a little bit of a thing that stuck out to me here. You need to know about first-person games, which is good, because hey, that's Doom, right? That's Quake. It could be either of them. For third-person shooters, though, why are they asking that? Do they want you to draw outside influence from like Fortnite or, or those other games? Not specifically Fortnite, but other ones that you can say, okay, let's learn from this game, let's learn from that. I believe they should try to learn from other games and apply what works and then ditch what doesn't work. And thinking about that doesn't mean that they're going to do a third-person shooter. However, what if? I mean, Tomb Raider, that's another third-person shooter. Action games, all of these things, I think they're trying to draw influence from. And if you have experience in third-person shooters and action games, you can bring that over to the first-person shooters, probably Doom, with an ability to analyze and discuss mechanics, encounters, and player actions. <laughs> All of those very heavily Doom and other games, yes, but mechanics like the meat hook encounters is a huge emphasis on player actions. Ability to learn and adapt quickly to the vision set forth by directors and leads. 
proactively as part of a team. They want a team player here. Someone that is proactive about collaborating and communicating with the mission design director. Strong critical thinking and problem solving skills are critical. So this could be another thinking man shooter. I mean, if you look at what we got going on here, I, I like I said, ah, it, think, it looks like it could be a Doom game. Let's, let's keep reading. I like the preferred skills section because there's a couple things that stand out. I think you'll like them too. Okay, scripting knowledge and ex you know, experience working in a collaborative environment. We get that. Preferred skills. Experience working on community mods or a gameplay design role on similar AAA titles. Interesting. Now, does this mean modding support is coming to the next game? Not necessarily. If you have experience in the community mods, you likely have a good skill set, a good base in which to apply for a game. If you look at Prote, look at all he was able to do. Look at Kaiser Will, look at Delta. There are so Elizabeth all these so many mods, you know, modders that we can name out here. I, you know, I'm not trying to leave anybody out, but just to give you an example, right? Prote was kind of leading the charge on modding. He was doing things before anyone else knew that they were possible. And being able to take a game, right, and formulate unofficial modding tools from that, from text files, essentially, and making your mods, that is a skill set that would transfer over to its software's proprietary program. Think about that. Or you the tools that the modding community has made, the skins like Will Ryan, and, and you look at folks like Sam PT, who are doing great work there. So much going on. If you are able to make all this stuff without the official tools, what could you do if you were at a desk in person, at an office with its studio, their proprietary official work, and be able to make it with that? That's super interesting. It doesn't mean that modding is going to happen, but. Yeah, I like, that. I like how they put that there. Experience as a combat or gameplay designer on first-person action games. That right there is telling enough. That says, hey, if you have experience on FPS, combat, we're going to need you here. Which could be Doom, could be Quake, yes. Familiarity with all its software games, characters, brands, and worlds. Yeah, okay, I can get that. You could bring... Hey, I mean, they brought in Slipgates and Doom Eternal. That's a Quake thing, right? I'm just messing with you there, sort of, but, but they really did. Programming and scripting experience, BS degree, that stands for Bachelor of Science degrees, or equivalent work experience. So when we take a look at all of these things together, the preferred skills coming through as well, and we go all the way back up to the qualifications, in-depth knowledge of recent id games, including Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, experience working with community mods or gameplay design role in similar AAA titles, similar AAA titles as Doom Eternal, as Doom 2016, if we really put all of this together, what do we draw from it? It could be a Doom game that is coming up. It could also be Quake. I am leaning to Doom because that's what I'm favoring. That's what I want to have. But are you convinced by this? Let me know in the comments below and check out my Doom analysis retrospective here. I am Austin. Thank you for watching.